Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from CraftTestimies.com and today we're going to talk about Prima Chalk Edgers. They're little mini stamp pads that you can hold in your hand and use on a variety of surfaces in a bunch of different ways. Stay tuned, let's take a look. Let's take a minute and look at these wonderful little chalk edgers by Prima. And these are all labeled with a designer and it's Ingrid somebody or other. I really cannot pronounce it so I won't um, bastardize it for you. But the idea is that these little chalk edgers come with a molded plastic handle so that you can easily grasp them and use direct to stamps, direct to paper. They also have a very interesting shape. It's almost like a little miniature iron. So you do get a kind of a point here and a right angle at the bottom, some flat edges and then some curved edges. And this is a unique shape. I've seen teardrop shapes and cat's eye shapes, but never one that looks like a little mini iron. Um, I also think that this is an ingenious design because not only is it built up and easier to grasp in your hand, love that, but also when you put the cap on and you store it upside down, all of the juice goes to the top of the stamp pad instead of having it be right side up and all of the juice and ink pooling to the bottom. It's actually pulling the top, which will make these really easy to use on demand. You also have the added benefit of having all the colors right here on the top so you can see the color that you want without having to lift it up and turn it over. So we're gonna take one minute. There we go, we'll look at the surface of the stamp pad and you'll see that it is really juicy and um, is kind of a cross between a foam and a linen texture. So it's not really foamy and it's not really linen-y, it's something kind of new and a hybrid of the two. But as you can see, it's very juicy and actually really rather opaque. So let's take a minute and we'll look at some swatches. So let's take a look at these here swatches. I use mostly just plain cardstock so you could see, um, but this is a, a pigment-based ink so that means that it's going to need to soak into a surface. So these are not appropriate for glossy surfaces, but they're really great for your regular papers, cardstock, cork, uh, even wood chips. So it, because it's pigment, it will show up on a darker surface. Um, this is actually a pale pink. It looks more white on the camera, but as you can see, it shows up beautifully. Uh, because it's a chalk type finish, um, it is very matte and it dries actually pretty quickly. I was, I was fairly happy with the way it soaked in and, and dried up. Um, this is not a great example, but I actually used a yellow stamp pad and then some clear embossing ink, and it does stay wet long enough to grab embossing powder if you want to use it for wet embossing. Here's that swatch on the white paper, and you can see here it really does look like pink. And uh, I even did it on the black cardstock. The pink looks more like white, but uh, it will even show up on some dark black cardstock if you need it to. Also, I did this little um, wood piece and it soaked in and left a really nice finish on that as well. So I also did a bunch of playing, as I readjust here momentarily, in my journal. And um, first I did some direct to paper and use just the wet edge and kind of blended it together. You can see it's really, really vibrant. I love that rich, vibrant color. And um, I got a couple of hard edges, but it, it blended fairly well, just going you know right into the surface. I also used a stencil and went ahead and um, did a little bit more color over the top. And then I spritzed it with water. And so that's why it looks really soft here. These are water soluble paints or inks and uh, if you go ahead and hit them while they are still damp you can get them to move just a little bit and you'll see that little bit of bleeding here. I also used it with a different stencil and move things around a little bit. I used some gesso over the top and then this was literally just right on top just kind of a big smudge. Now what I'm noticing is that as I'm pulling up do you see how 
the color is actually still coming off on my fingers a little bit. That's a really thick application. I did not heat set this. So something tells me that if I hit this with water, it would just bleed like the Dickens. So just be aware that this is about three days old and I'm still able to lift color up uh, with my fingers. So that's kind of interesting. But let me just show you here how you can, because they are so juicy, because of the way it's stored upside down, you get that really juicy color. I also found that um, it was kind of nice to have these little points because you do get some nice control here if you want to, uh, you know, stamp up a little pad or a little stamp and kind of do a little fussy thing with it where you blend the colors right on top. You can see it has nice control. And this is really comfortable in, in the hand. And if you know me, you know that I'm really always looking out for my crafty friends who have arthritis or fibromyalgia. I wanna make sure that these things are easy for us to use and hold over longer periods of time. So let me go ahead and flip over to a different page and give that a little stamp. So it kind of will blend together nicely on your stamp pad. So, that's kind of what I have to show and tell about the Prima Chalk Edgers. Good for embossing, good for direct to paper. Um, they blend really nicely. They are incredibly ergonomic. These retail for under $2 uh, a piece, and you can certainly buy them in bulk uh, online in sets for even cheaper than that. So there'll be some resources down in the description area for you to click back and look onto. Oh, by the way, notice how when I close that, this is so juicy. It gave me a, a secondary print. Let's even play with that for another minute. Check that out. Woo, look, serendipitous things happen when the camera is rolling. Ta-da! So um, in any event, I think these are really fun, really juicy, and um, really nice to hold on to. So if that's one of your concerns when you're doing mixed media, is that gripping, this is the product for you. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you spending some time with us. I hope this was a helpful video, and if so, please give it a thumbs up because that really helps us out. Also, take a minute, subscribe to the channel, and get all the crafty goodness delivered right to your email. So thank you so much for watching, and have a crafty day.